Consider this your sign to ditch those lace front wigs. If you don't have a clue, let me show you. Get into this 4C, 4Z, 5G LTE natural hair mixed with this mean wand curl. No lace, no glue. Girl, let me help you. Keep on watching so I can show you. Now for this kinky coily unit with this particular texture, you want to first saturate the hair in lukewarm water. This helps to loosen the curl pattern, which is really important. And then you wanna follow up using a super hydrating and moisturizing conditioner. This is by Aussie. And I'm gonna first finger detangle in small sections and gradually move on to detangling with a brush. This is super important. And this will stretch those curls even further. Don't be alarmed. Once all of the conditioner is evenly distributed. You'll be able to move the detangling brush through the unit with ease. And don't be alarmed, you do get some shedding, but it's natural with this particular hair texture. And once you rinse out the conditioner and allow it to air dry, when your unit is about 85 to 90% dry, it looks like this. Now we got our work cut out for us because you saw that intro. So I'm going in and detangling first with the detangling brush, super important, and then following up with a heat protectant. Yes, this isn't a live cuticle, but you still want to protect your hair. This is an investment and you want it to go for the long run. And so on a high heat, I'm going to blow dry this hair pretty straight. This texture best mimics naturally textured hair. So for my 4C, 4Z 5G LTE queens this is one for the books I mean this texture looks so realistic it is insane and you guys see it goes from this kinky coily texture and we get it straight and it maintains that texture that volume that density that you know I'm accustomed to with my own hair Now you might think this takes a super long time, but in all actuality, you can breeze through this. If you have a good, reliable blow dryer and you're big into detangling and working in, you know, small to medium sized sections, because this was a breeze for me. And I also love this length because, you know, it doesn't give Rapunzel. It's, it's giving realistic tees. That's the best way I can describe it. And if you want to take it a step further, you can use a paddle brush and your blow dryer just to finish things off. But I definitely wanted to then go in and kind of, you know, dust the ends. I'm not going to go crazy because, again, if you wanted to wear this in a curly state, you have to be careful. You don't want to mess up the layers. But to be honest with you, if you're not comfortable using hair shears to trim or like dust the ends, don't be discouraged. You do not have to do this. It's just a, you know, extra step. Now, a lot of you already clocked me when I was on Instagram Live. Yes, these are wand curls. I used this wand curl iron and it is everything. I don't use the gloves, so you know I kind of burn myself a little bit. So definitely be careful. I usually focus the section of hair towards the tapered end of the wand because I like the curls to be a little bit tighter. So, you know, once you wrap the hair, let it set for a few seconds. Then you want to go in with some sort of like hold spray. I'm using the high insta hold, which is perfect for this texture. And you just want to, you know, set it and then hold it in place for a few seconds because you want to lock that curl into place. And, you know, you don't want them to loosen up or fall. But this hair texture, it takes really well to heat styling and the curls hold for a long time. Get into it. Now, you know, I gotta go beat my face, so I figured I would just keep the hair contained in a hairnet. This is one of my favorite hairstyling tricks, so don't, don't trip, you might wanna use it. 
So this is the inside of the cap. It has an elastic band along with combs. And I'm going to go in and trim the lace around the U part. This is super important. Take your time and be neat about it. Because you want to make a nice, neat, and clean cut so that the U part lays flat on the scalp or your braided foundation. So I do have leave out that extends into the crown. I have some on the sides, which is super important because you want complete coverage so that the U-part wig doesn't show. Now, I don't typically like to use too much. I keep the bulk of my hair braided in the back. I just like to keep it secure and out of the way. Y'all, my hair is getting a little bit longer. So I'm just trying to keep her tucked away, keep her growing, keep her protected. Now to slide the U-part wig on, it's all about figuring out where you want the combs to be situated. So basically I sectioned out like the perfect amount of hair. I actually measured the length of the U-part, which I highly recommend for the leave out section because you don't wanna have too much or too little. You want as best coverage as possible when working with your U-part. And so once the combs are situated, I'm going to do a little bit of work. I'm going to take my hot comb and just talk to my roots like for a little bit. Just, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have a conversation and then we're going to go. We're going to be on our way. So don't do too much because next we're going in with the wand curl. Again, I'm focusing more towards the tapered end. You don't wanna hold it too long. And then once you release it, again, you want to go in and spray it as you hold it, let it rest for a few, and then you know move on to the next section. I know this may look scary for a lot of people, but let me just be real with you. I do not use heat in this capacity on my hair often. I'm not even bothered. I deep condition in preparation for this style, so once I'm done, you know, wearing this style, I will probably deep condition again, you know, 30 to 45 minutes to a hot oil leave-in treatment. As I'm laying the curls into place, I'm trying to cover up the U-part wig. If you see that light brown cloth or material, you can always go in with like a mascara wand to darken it. But you know what, for the sake of time, I was like, we're doing a good job, you know, making sure that we conceal it, so no worries. And this look is everything. It's giving crochet tees, to be honest with you. And I feel like y'all could definitely do this. Like, we're in this together. This is a sleigh for the day, okay? We start in 2021 off with a bang. There are full links to this unit in the description box, so don't forget to check it out. And then, you know, you could do a little swoop. There it is, you know, adult swoops, nothing too crazy. I'm keeping it super light, unlike the last U-part wig I did, you know, trying to get a little better. And I just started taking my natural curls and sort of twisting them into the wand curls of the U-part wig. You have to be very strategic about this. Just watch my hands, adjust the playback of this video. But let me just tell you, my hair color is so much lighter than the U part, but I feel like this works. Like you might try to clock me, but at the end of the day, this look still slays. And you know what I'm saying? This, this look is, this is it. And for this particular style, I was like, do I want it to be a middle part? Do I want to do the flip over? And you know, just trying to blend my natural hair with the curls of the U part wig. It's, it took some time, okay? It takes time. You have to keep playing with it. You can't give up. I had to get myself together because I had to change into my fit because I had a whole look envisioned for this style because this I had to do it justice okay so I'm going back in to wrap my edges and use that hair net to keep the curls tight and in place and once I come back this is like, this is me really brainstorming. I'm trying to figure out how this unit should lay. Do you like the flip over to the side, sort of side swept vibe? Definitely let me know. 
if you have longer hair you can have more volume you know if you decide to do the flip over method i felt like the length was kind of working against me when it comes to my leave out versus the length of the u part wig i'm in love with it y'all let me know how i did meet me in the comments section let me know would you attempt this style do you like this look would you like to see me do this on a lace front wig definitely let me know share this with your homeboys and your homegirls because you know we slate all day over here and give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling a look talk to me in the comments section what are your thoughts check out curls curls they are having some awesome styles that they're launching and i hope i see you in the next one bye y'all